City Council meetings have seen an uptick in interest from teenagers and young adults since December. That's when the council wel welcomed its newest and youngest member, 27, when he was elected. Jesse Johnson defeated a two-term incumbent and is just getting started. Welcome. Councilperson Jesse Johnson. It's good to have you here. Thank you so Congratulations, much. by the way, because you, so you won an election against a very experienced politician. What what do you attribute that success to? You know, I, I, I attribute it to a lot of my folks that I had around me. You know, I had a great support system. I had a campaign manager organizing events. My family and friends came out and supported and knocked on a lot of doors, too. Yeah. Over 8,000 doors over an eight-month period. So wow. it was a lot of work. Put some shoe <laughs> leather into that. But that's part of it, right? We need new and fresh people. And so um, that's one of the reasons why we asked you to come here, because of your own age and the fact that this is your election has inspired a lot of young people to come forward and be more interested in the process. So let's start with your background in education. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Yeah, so I spent the last six years in education as a college and career counselor, uh, family engagement specialist currently in human resources. And you have a master's from the UW, yes. correct? Mm -hmm. What made you decide you wanted to turn to politics? You know, it's been around for a long time. I, I've actually uh, campaigned for Obama in 2008 in the 30th district. Um, also, I've campaigned for Adam Smith and Tracy Idy in the 30th district. So, you know, it's been around a long time and I've really had a passion for it. Um, probably this year, the first thing that I did, though, was I looked at who is represented in local politics. And I wanted to change the narrative around who's represented, specifically young people and people of color. Right. And so as you made that decision, there is there is this big switch to go from, you know, regular person doing your job to now I'm going to put myself out mm -hmm. there. I'm going to knock on doors and say, hi, I want you to vote for me. Was there a certain amount of change in your headspace that had to go into that? Definitely. You know, I think for me, it was like looking at the young folks in our community and seeing that they wanted someone that represented them yeah. and also seeing the folks of color. And I think for me, it's been something that I've thought about a long time. I just actually put it into action. And it's, it's knowing the issues of our community, knowing both the context of our city and also the content of right. policies that need to be changed too. Well, I'm a big believer in that. We need age groups, communities, ethnicities, genders represented because their, their voices prove not only to be valuable, but we come up with better solutions when everybody's at the table. Mm -hmm. What were some areas of particular interest to you that you wanted to talk about that you thought maybe weren't being sufficiently discussed? Definitely affordable housing in Federal Way. That's a big issue. Yeah. Also access to mental health centers. Um, finding a, a job for young folks, you know, summer teen employment, uh, working with different partnerships and organizations to find more jobs. And then finally, homelessness is an issue that we're all dealing with. And right. so working with other municipalities around dealing with that issue and finding real solutions to it. So since you have an educational background, how are you planning to apply that to some of the things that you want to work on? Definitely. I bring a different perspective. I worked in family engagement, so my goal is to actually physically... What is I don't know what family engagement yeah, really definitely. means. So Tell basically me. what I do is I work with families on how to better support their kids at home. And Got so it. we do, you know, academies. We do a, a program called Teach the Trainer, where we teach other families to teach parents how to... Uh, better support their kids at home. And so we do that programming in Highline School District. I've worked in Seattle at Garfield High School as well. And so that's a program that um, I started here in Seattle Public Schools. And awesome. so I think that it's important that we're looking at the family dynamic and making sure that families have access to what they need for their kids. Right, that's so important. I agree with you completely. Tell me about your family. So my dad is a, a 40 year general contractor and painter. My mom works at the local Costco and we have uh, four kids in our family. So they stretch stress education. And you know, I think oh. one of the- Look, we've got a picture. Oh, there they are. There they go. Yeah. <laughs> so they went out and really helped as well definitely. to campaign they, for you. Definitely. Um, what do you think your future will hold? Are you looking to, to continue in politics beyond here? It kind of depends on what happens in the next couple of years, in 2020 in particular. Also, what I can do in Federal Way. You know, I really ground myself in community and I feel mm -hmm. like I have a good pulse of what the community wants. And so it kind of depends on what we're able to accomplish. And I think that the council has a great opportunity to achieve some positive outcomes in Federal Way. Okay, so let's talk about those. What sorts of markers are you laying down for yourself? What goals? So one of them in particular is to build an apprenticeship school in Federal Way so that kids can work in the trades. Uh, another one in particular is more affordable housing. I think all the municipalities in the area are dealing with that. Right. Um, homelessness also. But I think that if we can get the partners, uh, physically bring the partners to the table to help us achieve those goals, then we can achieve some positive outcomes. So that's my goal in particular. Those are all good goals. Um, for for young people to see a young person, for people mm -hmm. of color to see people of color represented in decision-making positions, what does that do? 
you know, it gives them a, a positive outlook on government. I think for so many decades, young folks, people of color and other folks that have been historically marginalized, women, LGBTQ, you know, we've looked at government and not seen ourselves in government. Mm -hmm. So I think that having that voice there, an advocate, uh, lifts everyone's spirits. Also, you know, we've been beaten down by the political system for decades, and I think if we can actively bring them to the table so that it's a two-way partnership between the community and politics, we can actually have some representation and we can have people that want to get things done, then it's going to be a great outcome for everyone. It'll make a big difference. We've seen record numbers of women running this time for the mm -hmm. first time. Um, you've done this. What would you say to other people who've always thought you know, that they were on another path about considering public service. If you have the self-discipline for it, if you have the drive and the passion, you can do it. Anyone can run for politics. It's really, you know, being able to put in that work. And I think also bring other folks in into the community that can work alongside you. So one thing that I'm trying to do is bridge the gap between activism and politics and make sure that people are heard. Mm -hmm. Activists are coming to city council meetings in Federal Way. People are talking about real issues, and I think that's important. And real solutions, hopefully. Thank exactly. you so much for coming Thank in. Thank you so Good much, Margaret. Thank you so much, Thank you. We Thank look forward so to seeing what happens with you after this. You can join Jesse at the Federal Way Youth Forum Monday, June 11th at Decatur High School. We encourage you to go, and we'll have details on our website. Coming up, take a break from hotels and book some stunning homes like this one for your next Next vacation. We'll show you how to do it after a quick break. Yeah.